It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about dry shampoo and we're gonna be sharing all of the ways that you should properly be using it and improperly be using it. So shout out to Waterless, thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be sharing tips, tricks, hacks, all of the things you need to know to revive that greasy, dirty hair and make it look fabulous. Let's talk about my hair first. I have super fine hair, but I have a ton of it. So I really fall into that fine hair category and I tend to get really oily up here. So the three products from Waterless that we're gonna be talking about today are first off, their dry shampoo. This is paraben free and sulfate free, which is awesome because I hate putting that junk in my hair. This is what we're going to be testing today. And then we've got dry conditioner. Now this is a product that is newer to me, also by Waterless, but this is fantastic if your ends are as dry as mine are, and mine are super dry because it's gonna help put the moisture back into the mid shaft to the length of my hair. And then last but not least, we've got the Waterless Heat Shield. I do not do not touch my hair unless I've got some sort of heat protectant on this. And this is one that protects your hair up to 450 degrees, which is awesome. So we've got the products, we've got the hair. It's time to test them to see if they really work. So let's put my hair through a little bit of torture. gas let's go get the gas can you guys <laughs> I just filled up the gas tank yesterday that's a full tank what's that you're a jerk hey babe yeah McKenley sandbox needs refilled so fill it <laughs> no you're gonna do it here we go, chop chop. Well, that was fun. And I think Matt might have had a little too much fun uh, torturing my hair. Okay, let's move on and talk about the do's and the don'ts of dry shampoo. First up, do apply to your roots only, don't apply from here to here, which is mid shaft to lengths of hair. That's, you don't need dry shampoo there. You only need it at your roots. When actually applying dry shampoo, spray it 10 to 12 inches away from your hair root. Don't apply, don't, don't like do this. You're gonna concentrate it all in one spot and you're gonna have a glob of dry shampoo in that one spot. You don't need to do that. Just sweeping motions. If you put too much in one spot, it's going to weigh your roots down and it's just going to make your hair go flat. And the whole purpose of dry shampoo is to give you back that body that you naturally have. Don't forget to shake up the can. You wanna make sure that that formula is all mixed properly before you apply it to your hair. Do tousle your hair after you apply it. So what I like to do is apply it in sections and then drop my hair down and use my fingers to just lightly massage it into my scalp. You can use a brush, you can use your fingers. You can even apply a hair dryer if you want to, to kind of dry it up. I like to flip my head over, apply it really well and get a good massage. Bonus points if you have a husband who will actually massage your scalp, which mine did, and voila. Don't, don't, don't wait until after the gym to apply dry shampoo. Apply it before you work out if you know you're gonna have a sweat session because that product is gonna be in your roots as you're sweating, it's gonna help actively absorb the oil as it's being produced. Do consider using dry shampoo if you just have flat hair. You don't have to use it just because your hair needs a refresh between washes. I actually sometimes use dry shampoo on my clean or cleanish hair to give myself a boost. It really does help with volume and makes your hair look just bigger, fuller, and more voluminous. Don't wait until your hair is beyond help. Like don't wait until day seven when like you literally cannot get any more out of your hair. Use your dry shampoo earlier on in the week. I am on day four as I'm filming this right now and my hair is at the, at the point where I got about one more day till I need to wash it. 
if I waited till tomorrow, it would just, it wouldn't do as good as it did. But honestly, my hair looks like it was just washed and it's because of my waterless dry shampoo. Don't forget to brush your hair out after you apply the dry shampoo and it's dried. The reason is, is because you wanna actually distribute the product because you're applying it to a section of roots and if you're sectioning it off, that's not every single root on your head. So you wanna brush it through once it's dry and really help to push it through your hair and help it to absorb all of the oil throughout your scalp. Bonus hack, if you're wearing a ponytail and your tail of your pony is actually just feeling like kind of flat, I like to take a little dry shampoo and spritz it right there at the base of my ponytail where my hair is and fluff it up and it automatically makes my hair look so much thicker, fuller, and just nicer. Okay, now that we know all that there is to know about dry shampoo and how to use it and make your hair look fabulous, let's talk about dry conditioner. Okay, so, this is something that's been new to me until recently and now that I've discovered it, there's no turning back because here's the thing, I have color treated hair and I have ombre, so the ends of my hair, they're especially dry. Yeah. And the more I wash it, guess what? The more it gets dried out. So dry conditioner, my new BFF. And don't worry, listen, okay, I know we put my hair through a torture chest for the dry shampoo, we're gonna try it out for the dry conditioner too, okay? Let's see how it holds up to the Jeep test. You know the saying, Jeep hair don't care? Uh, yeah, it's because nothing is comparable to Jeep tangled hair. I get out of the Jeep and my hair, it's literally painful. And not just mine, but Kenny's too. So this is where dry conditioner comes to the rescue. Again, waterless dry, sh dry conditioner is sulfate free. It's paraben free. I feel good about applying it to my hair and I feel good about applying it to my daughter's hair too. All you do is apply it from mid shaft, which is about right here down. You do not want to apply apply dry conditioner to your roots because you already are wanting to get up all of that oil, right? This is going to apply moisturization, which is going to help with oil production. You don't want it here. You want it here. So I just spritz it all over my hair and then I brush it through and voila, my hair is moisturized. It's hydrated. And you know what else it does? It helps control frizz. Amazing. We're gonna throw this one in because again, I do not style my hair with heat unless I'm protecting it. This is the heat shield from Waterless and it protects your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That is so important because if y'all remember last year, I did my video about uh, my hair smelling like a burnt wet dog. Do you remember that? I never forgot it because every once in a while my hair stinks like a burnt wet dog still. This right here, this prevents the burnt wet dog smell because it's protecting your hair. I make sure to only turn my straightener, my curling wands, whatever, up to 350 degrees because that's when I feel that my hair responds the best, but this will protect it up to the 350 degrees because it's up to 450. So you just apply it, style as usual, and your hair is just happier. And guess what? It's not gonna smell. I hope you guys had fun today learning about dry shampoo, dry conditioner, and heat protectant. I did. Um, I also kind of had fun torturing my hair, kind of, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what video you wanna see from, from me next on my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Au revoir. And, or like a deep, um, like a whiny reddish purple shade. And it just, I don't know, these yellow mums look like marigolds to me. Am I wrong? Do you think I'm wrong?